Alright, so I went to Value Village the other day, and I got some really, really old games. First up we have, if you can see it, Duke Nukem 3D. And it's actually an interactive game guide. I don't know if you can see that. But I paid $2.99 for it. And it's backwards, but whatever. You can see the back. It shows you how to beat the game. Which is, this is weird. It's all backwards. Yeah, so I got that. Next right, so up. Next up, I got two board games. And the prices weren't really too bad. Let me just get this out. First up, we got Pass Out Frank Bresley's exciting adult game. So it's a drinking game, apparently. And it was made in 1965 by Frank Breezy. Wow, pass out. And I only paid a whopping $1.99. So I thought that was kind of cool. Then I got one more game. And that is Parker Brothers Payday. Where does all the money go game? And as you can see in the box, he's got money and then he doesn't have money. He's got money, then he, I don't know, no money. Where'd the money go? So I paid a little bit more, four bucks for that game. Um, I've never actually seen these games before, so I'm hoping maybe they're worth a little bit of cha-ching change. Next yeah. up, we got this really cool metal sign, Jack Daniels. Um, yeah, so I thought that was a pretty cool find. And maybe hang in my room. So and then I got this Pokemon Yahtzee game. It's in pretty nice condition. Oh, jeez. And it's got Pikachu, Gengar, Flavo, Geodude, and Squirrel. And you just play Yahtzee with it. The detail on it is pretty cool. There's Pokeballs and stuff. So that was $2.50. Then I got this yellow N64 controller. And the joystick, if you can hear that, is really, it's got a good spring. And I only paid seven bucks for an N64 controller, which I think was a really good deal. And it's, it's yellow. So, not too bad. Then, I got a PlayStation memory card for three bucks. So I think this is an official one, I'm not too sure. I'm hoping so though. These are what they used to look like when I was playing it back in the day. Then, I got this N um, N64 game, NHL Breakaway 1998. N64, and it was only two bucks, so I'm like, whatever, just get it. And the last thing I found was a black GameCube controller, and it didn't look too bad at all. I checked the cord and everything, and I paid eight bucks for that. So, I mean, I think that was to pick a deal for a licensed uh, GameCube controller. Sweet. All right, and finally, I got Final Fantasy II in box. The box is pretty beat up. Um, it's got some tape on it, if you can see that. Uh, some tape there, but it comes with the, the instruction booklet and the game. I'm just gonna show you that real quickly. So here is the game. Comes with a desk cover and it is pretty like there's no tears or anything in it. See if you can see. And then the booklet is kind of missing the front cover and back cover, but maybe I can find one um, on EB or something. But yeah, I got that, and that was pretty expensive, but I think it was worth it. Um, so yeah, hope you like this video, and there's there's more to come. See ya. Fun. So my friend is unboxing and it's really loud and we will see what's in this mystery box. Apparently it's fragile, handle with care. So let's see what goodies are inside.
Here we go. Oh. Don't film me. Oh, sorry. God. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? <gasps> no way! It is. Oh, we fit trainer. Nice. Let's see that. That is just something cool. Wow. Huh, his face looks weird. Oh, well. His face looks weird. That is Marth. Marth, wow. Holy crap. What Rosalina. else we got? Oh, Rosalina. Uh. Ness. Wow. And one more. Oh, Loness. So we got one, two, three, four. My favorite is probably Wee Fit Trainer because she's just doing some crazy ass move. Getting fit. Yeah. Cool.